fusion movement. Can you tell me a little bit about that? I mean, for the everyday person who sees so many intersections, but doesn't understand why, let's say the Poor People's Campaign doesn't have just one pillar. Like there's so many different pieces. Why is that important? What is a fusion movement? What are for the person who has no idea what it even means, describe it, please. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, so I, I think the term has a historical root, um, and I'm not really a historian, but but I, I think that th- the idea behind a, a fusion coalition or a fusion movement goes back to reconstruction history um, and goes back to this idea that um, in, in the reconstruction era after um, slavery was abolished, after the civil war, um, newly freed black folks and poor white folks in the South in some states came together to support um, progressive policies and candidates that established public education and expanded literacy and rewrote tax systems and rewrote state constitutions um, to the benefit of that that fusion group. So it's the idea of saying um, that you know, you and I may not be impacted in the same ways, but when we come together, we stand to gain a lot by being together and by organizing together. The kind of way that I I think about it personally, um, in a less sort of historical way, is it's 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 like a step beyond coalition, right? A, a coalition, you might say, like your issues and my issues, they kind of align. And so it's, it's, it's kind of beneficial for us to, to do these things together. I, I think fusion goes and says, your issues are actually also my issues. They're not separate things that are adjacent. They're actually the same thing. And we should be in on addressing those things together because the issues are the same issues and we stand to benefit even more from approaching it in, in that sort of a way. So I, that, that, that's how I think of a fusion coalition. 